Okay, guys, so OAC, once again, do you ever miss one of these events? Well, I'm missing the one in Steubenville today. Well, well you're the only one man. <laughs> yeah. You're only one man, guy, okay? I guess I got a team down there right now. How many guys are down there? Maybe six to eight. Six to eight, okay. How many here today at Brexville? We have six to eight here as well. Six to eight, so and wow. One out, one out District out champ, Mazer. District champ, Mazer, and team are one one in Oregon. Jeez, Pete, you guys I are have, rolling. I have uh, six, I mean, three sixth graders qualified at 74. And Mazer bumped up to 74. Well, yeah, he's Major probably like in the 60s, weight. 68 pounds or something crazy like that. He was, he was yeah. runner up in the uh, what do you call it? Runner up in the grade school, but won the junior high. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty incredible, right? Yeah, tough district. Okay, so you look at uh, the competition here at OAC. Obviously, it's tough, but there's a hundred less kids here than there was at Norwalk, right? Yeah, there's 330 kids here in Norwalk. There's over 400. So. Yeah. So when you look at the competition level here at this one, it's probably because you have less guys, probably a little less than what Norwalk had, right? Plus the top six hammers are already qualified, so that kind of helps too. Yeah, and then you got guys who are doing second chance, things like that. So Correct. what do you guys want the kids to get out of today when they when they come to practice? We just want them to qualify. This advance, that's a great thing. We can fix our mistakes over the next three weeks, but let's just get out of the tournament. It is, it is a hammer tournament, OAC, but um, in looking at it, what do you guys got to do moving forward to get everybody who you send to an OAC event to qualify? Some guys maybe don't make it, right? Yeah, we lost two this morning, um, but there are two guys that are newer to our program, some mistakes we got to fix, and we'll just move on from here. Okay, so balancing. What is your day like, by the way? Tell me, I want to hear the typical guy Seiko day. It's easy. I no, to, no I way, it's really not, but it. okay. But you get up, you, what time are you into the warehouse? I'm usually in seven, seven to eight, somewhere okay. around there. Seven to eight, then you get lunch at noon? No lunch. No? No lunch. <laughs> Working lunch, okay. No lunch. Okay, then what time is practice? Six. So you go right, you go seven to 5.30? 5.30, go to practice six, get home. I get home around 9.30, 10 o'clock every night. This is five days a week, six days a week. Five days a week, wrestling and weekends. Charlie and I are usually on the road somewhere. Did you go on vacation or do anything fun? I took four days off last year. So. Four days? Yeah. Oh my god. You ever get worn out? Is burnout a real thing? No. Object of the game is to keep your eyes open as long as possible, and that's my philosophy. That's actually like life, right? Yes. Literally, you want to like stay alive as long as possible. Exactly. And awake and enjoy things. Okay. Moving forward, Char Charlie told me a big thing. I was I was pitching bottles today to my sister-in-law and brother-in-law who are basketball people in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay. Okay. They they thought it was amazing on the bottle, and you beat Procter and Gamble out with your bottle. You're seventy percent post consumer waste. I, What's going on with the bottle? I beat Procter and Gamble out with their bottle. They own the rights to that bottle. And they actually came to us and asked us to test that because we're a smaller company. We're a little more flexible than they are. Um, so we've been testing that bottle for them. We made a killer commercial for that, um, and they made their commercial. They're presenting that packaging to uh, Fortune uh, 100 companies in New York, and they chose our commercial over their commercial to present it. So I thought we did pretty good there. That's not bad. So you and Charlie are going to be in New York City rubbing elbows with the financial behemoths, right? We're going to try to, yeah. And what do you guys do when you go to something like that? You're a blue collar guy. We're just going to network. Obviously, we're not a Fortune 100 company, so the the, the summit's a little over our, over our means, but we're just going to try to network with whoever we can at that. So networking's the name of the game? Yeah. All right. So you, you help me bring all this content to people. Give me a percentage of the content that you sponsor that you actually even get to watch. We sponsored St. Ed's vs. LaSalle, Dynamite Duel, came down to Seamus O'Malley, stepping on the mat. Did you even get to watch any no, of that? I'll watch it on uh, your Twitter feed. That's about it. That's literally it. The highlights is what you watch. Yeah, it can only be so many places at one time, like you said. So you you only watch the highlights. You don't even get to watch all this content, this great content you bring. I just watch uh, wherever I can wherever I can grab it online. I'll watch it online. Okay. Well, I thought. I, I mean, maybe we should just say we're doing the content and not actually do it. And Billy, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll move forward like that guy. But all right, you got anything else for me? Nope. Defend what you built. Defend what you built. Um, new bottle. Where are we at with the new bottle with the 500? Did you sell all of them? No, they're, they're still available on Amazon only. They're not on my website. We're doing a test on Amazon because they have a better review process there. So if people like it, they can look at it and they can review it there. So that would have to There were 500 in the original. Yeah. I have one of them. There's still a couple on it. There's still some left. Okay. Hey, guy, thanks for the time. Defend what you built. And good luck to you guys moving forward today at the district. Thanks, Ev.